postal services cover up. Um, thousands and thousands of children have been taken into care on nothing more than a whim by social services. Social services are stealing children in their thousands because it's a very profitable organisation at the moment. The money being made is millions per child. These people are sat taking awards today. The police officers, statutory blind, don't want to do anything about it. We're here to protest. And we'll be here to protest today, we'll be here tomorrow, the week after that we'll be in Halifax, Nottingham, please. We will be there. Screw the decks, screw the common law, screw the freemen. These children need protecting here. Get on board people, get on board. Snatches. They're trying to adopt my child very soon. I put in applications to the European Courts of Human Rights. I'm waiting on that. But the lower courts are all corrupt, they're all secret, they're all they don't let public in, so you can see. They're all very corrupt and they lie. The social workers lie, twist things, twist things about you, label me as a learning difficulty when they've not even assessed me in my daughter's case. Label me as something saying I've got a learning difficulty and I can't look like a child because I've got a mild learning difficulty. I need all this support. Just a little bit of lies. Hotel in Manchester on our doorstep we've got the heads of social services from right around the country people who are responsible for the trafficking of our children for profit they're the sort of people that allowed what happened in Rotherham to happen where 1400 children were raped and groomed they allowed it by their acquiescence and we're here today to show them our disgust and for every time they have a meeting we're going to be here we're going to take the fight to them from now on it's not going to happen anymore
they're not interested. They're, they're not interested. All they're interested in is their hundred thousand pound a year jobs and keeping their head down and playing the systems game. And the systems game is paedophilia. That's what the systems game is. Trafficking our children. That's a, that's what they're after. They've taken everything else in this country. They've taken our industry. They've taken our jobs. They've taken our freedom. And now the only thing left is our children. And we're not having it. It stops. It stops. The line in the sand's been drawn, it's not happening anymore. These bleeders, these police here now protecting them, protecting them, they want to hold the heads in, hang the heads in shame because they're protecting paedophile traffickers. They're paedophiles who are trafficking our children, stealing our children, putting them into care and allowing the likes of Cyril Smith and Greville Janner and the rest of the Leon Britton and the rest of them to have sex with our children. It stops, it stops. Do your job! 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 Do your job. Do your job. This is the uh, conference of all the UK's social services. They're all, all in there together. So we found out about it and we've put a, a quick response together. Right. We're no longer going to tolerate their cover-ups in historic child abuse and we're no longer going to tolerate forced adoption. Right? Enough is enough. If, it, if abusing our children from yesteryear wasn't enough, they're targeting the families of children who were abused, taking their kids by a forced adoption, as well as the forced adoption for other unlawful reasons. In close family courts, where no one can have the right to be represented or respond. It's a total fit-up and it's, it's a destruction of society as a whole. Right? They're taking them for corporate profit because they're corporate uh, businesses. And at the end of the day, I'm not having it and as you can see, we're not having it. protest about the social services directorates and they're all getting together to have these discussions and we really don't know what they're about um, but we think that one of the things subjects they should really be talking about is child sexual abuse because uh, it's, it's one of the biggest subjects at the moment and we all need to talk about it so we've invited one of them to either come down or we'll come up to them to speak to us uh, and so far they've made uh, all refusals on that office. That's right, from all over the country. Uh, and we'd really like to address them with some serious points. That's right, child prostitution throughout the country. Rotherham and uh, Savile, abuses in Nottingham, um, all over the country in fact. It's been documented in different parts of the country. Islington, uh, there, was, there was a large scare in, um, uh, up in the Lake District. They've been, they've been all over the Cumbria, everywhere. All over the country there have been uh, allegations of abuse that haven't been dealt with. 
haven't been dealt with in the right way, and yet they've been reported to these people. These people are there to try and, are supposedly there to care for them, and yet they're being blocked when it goes higher up. Why is that? These people are those people higher up. We want to get them, them the message to them. Every single time, and every time we find out they're meeting somewhere, we will take the fight to them. We'll come to you. I've come from Nottingham today. We'll always come to you, wherever you are. Um, I'm Amanda Coopan, this is my brother Chris Gass. Uh, when Mickey came over to England, um, Chris Gass, he already knew my brother, and he introduced me to Mickey. Mickey came to live with me for eight months, and uh, he had no records whatsoever. Uh, the council said he was never in care, never existed. Uh, that's where I came into the picture. I helped him um, uncover a load of documents in the archives and placed him in places where the council said he won because they shut him down with what we call, a, 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 his fires were shut down what we call like a D notice. They said that they were shut down. Then they said they were destroyed. We've done everything to keep fighting to say where Mickey was. It said he wasn't ever in foster care. We found his foster carers. And then it, it went on from there. When we started campaigning and, uh, in the square in Nottingham, other people started coming forward, naming other people, like Ken Clark, um, and we had four or five people come and name it. And obviously because of Ben Fellows, what was going on with them. Um, but these people have never come back to us. Further protests we did, um, people were getting, we was getting more public um, awareness, and then we actually uh, shut down our council building um, in a, in a, in a, and the county council building when they had meetings. And that's how we started working, by trying to shut meetings down, because they wouldn't meet with us. We started taking over buildings and shutting them down. Then we got involved with a lot of people like Tom Crawford, who's just had his house talk, and um, Mike Marks along as well, who uh, does a lot of videos for us. And ha what happened from there is we just became uh, more aware we like common law, and we formed a chair called the CSA Action Group in Nottingham, which um, a guy called David Ollis, he's a colonel, who's took us now into getting an inquiry in Nottingham. Um, the police keep backtracking a bit on that now, but we keep fighting, and we've now become part of the main inquiry, uh, and we, we're going to be a hub in the, from Nottingham in that main inquiry, uh, due to fighting for what we want. And we've got Michael Mansfield's chambers that will be taking us in as well. Um, Mickey Summers, as you know, was a child abuse victim. He um, was abused by a head of social services in Nottingham. Also in Nottingham, we have a lot of links to Jimmy Savile. Jimmy Savile was in with the Reverend Bennett, who lived, uh, lived in uh, Home Pierpoint in uh, Nottingham. He was of St Edmund's Church. Him and Savile used to do 10k runs around Saxondale, another paedophile palace where they used to take victims. But together they started what they called a Kingfisher project where they took children to Wales, uh, to the Gower Peninsula, and uh, children were molested there. We have a lot of links to Savile uh, through this Reverend Bennett, uh, and now he's gone missing. We, he's, never, he's never been born, we don't know if he's still about, and we're trying to find out where he is. Also, uh, we have other people now that have come forward to us, other survivors that didn't go to the police because they've been let down with the police, they've took their evidence to the police, nothing was ever done. They have a strategic, strategic and because of their strategic, with Nottingham, yeah. with, uh, Nottingham County Council, Nottingham Council and the police yeah. to keep this all covered up. You're working in strategic pots. And you're finding a lot of cities, cities now with these strategic partnerships they're closing ranks. It's like we had our inquiry the other day. When we got there, we've got the Head of Social Services and then we've got our Superintendent, Helen Chamberlain, and another lady all sat together. Now the police shouldn't be sat with anybody. The police should be sat with us, finding out what they've done wrong to cover this up. Chris Hay, the Chief Superintendent, refuses to meet Mickey Summers. He's, 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 he's tried to get meetings with him. He called him uh, at the County Council. And when Mickey told him, they come all the way to America, from America to challenge him. Uh, Chris Ears turned around to him and said, well done. The only thing he didn't do is clap him. You know, that's the kind of contempt the man has for, for, for a person who's suffered child abuse whilst in the state gear system. And we're going to keep fighting for justice. Yeah. Because what and that's on trying, video, you can yeah. get that on YouTube. 
Yeah. Which what we're trying to say to people so is in Nottingham, don't just do don't just do these rallies. Get yourselves together, join, get an action group together where you all meet up like we have. Get someone to put, form a chair for you. And if they won't liaise with you, liaise through them. And then if you don't get no go further with that, we still do our rallies. But they're still not making us quiet. That's why we're here today. We're still we've fighting. Man, we've got them film uh, actually live. Actually live. Which are live public coffee, which is called Malfeasance. And we've got it, we've got that, we've got them on video. We've got doing proof that. of that. It's endemic though, the whole system right from top to bottom is just yeah, completely wrong. Right. to the core. In Nottingham, um, in Nottingham in the 80s, there was a case called the Broxlow case. It was satanic abuse in Nottingham. There was a lot of high profile people, including police officers, that were involved in that. A certain police officer has been named over four times now to us. And we've heard he is a mason, a high up mason. Um, now this guy, um, we don't trust that we can't go to the police for this because obviously if four people have mentioned this police officer, including one of our main whistleblowers, uh, has, has named this person and they've still done nothing about it. They've not even been to that person and took her evidence off, off her yet. Oh, she's got over 80 exhibits of evidence of failings as an inspector in child services. So if they're not going to take her seriously, how are they going to take a basic survivor seriously? We have a crime commissioner in Nottingham, his name is Paddy Tipping. Now, he used to work for social services, and one of the people that, that raped Mickey uh, was actually head of the social services. When, when Mickey actually met Paddy Tipping, he denied any, any knowledge of ever knowing the guy. Then we found, found records that put him in the same place at the same time, and, it, and he was confronted with that, Paddy Tipping, the crime commissioner in Nottingham, and all of a sudden, his memory came back. He goes, oh, I remember him now. He was my boss. Yeah. He was my boss, but he denied it. So the amnesia, he hasn't got amnesia now. Yeah. Now that's the crime commissioner of Nottingham. <laughs> he plays golf with Chris Hare. Yeah, who, 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 who packed his job in as a politician for fiddling his expenses. Crime commissioner.